In our previous lesson, you have seen if y is equal to x raised to the power of n, then the derivative of y with respect to x is n x raised to the power of n minus 1. But why? Every formula used in the differentiation is being derived from the first principle. If y is equal to x raised to the power of n, then dy will be equal to x plus dx to the power of n minus f of x, which is just the function x power n. The binomial theorem will help us in expanding this. From the binomial theorem, this n combination 0 x to the power of n is going to be our first term plus n combination 1 x raised to the power of n minus 1 dx is going to be our second term plus n combination 2 x to the power of n minus 2 then dx to the power of 2 is going to be our third term plus up to n combination n dx to the power of n is going to be the expansion of this binomial terms the minus x power n and binomial expansion n combination 0 is 1 because this means n factorial over n minus 0 factorial then 0 factorial but 0 factorial is equal to 1 and this uh, we have n factorial divided by n factorial and this cancel this equal to 1 so n combination 0 is 1 times x which will give us x power n plus n combination 1 is n n factorial all over n minus 1 factorial then 1 factorial this is the same thing as n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial because 1 factorial is 1 this cancel this we are left with only n so here we have n x power n minus 1 dx plus n combination 2 here we have minus 2 here we have 2 and this implies that n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial 2 factorial is 2 this cancel this so we end up having n over 2 times n minus 1 the whole of these times so we have n over 2 n minus 1 times x power n minus 2 then dx to the power of 2 you keep on going after n combination n is 1 you can test it we have dx to the power of n minus x power n but we have positive x power n we have negative x power n so they cancel out leaving these terms <clears throat> so let's apply dy over dx you divide each of these terms by dx so we have nx power n minus 1 dx divided by dx plus n over 2 n minus 1 x power n minus 2 dx power 2 all divided by dx plus dx and dx this cancel this we are only left with nx n minus 1 plus n over 2 n minus 1 x power n minus 2 here dx because dx squared divided by dx is dx plus up to 
dx n minus 1. Then when we set the limit of dx, when we set the limit of dx to be equal to 0, the limit of dx approaches 0, all this dx will be equal to 0. But if you look at the first term, the first term does not contain any dx. So all other terms, you set their dx to be equal to 0. And 0 multiplied by any term there will change it to be equal to 0. Therefore, we end up having nx n minus 1. Therefore, if y equals to x power n, dy over dx equal to n x to the power of n minus 1. Hence, proof. If y equals to x power 3, then dy over dx will be equals to, you migrate this 3 down, we have 3, then x3 minus 1 from this, if n equals to 3. And this is equal to 3x power 2. And again, if y equals to maybe 2x power 2, dy over dx will be equal to 2. You take this down, 2x, then 2 minus 1. And this is equal to 2 times 2, 4x power 1, which is just equal to 4x. If y equals to then dy over dx will be equal to 4 times, this is 3x power 3 minus 1 plus 3, this is 2x power 2 minus 1 minus 4, this is 1 minus 1 plus 6, but you know that this is a constant term. It also naturally contains x power 0. You can write x power 0 here to make the polynomial balance. So in this case, we have 0x power 0 minus 1. 2 times this is 12. x3 minus 1 is 2. Plus 3 times 2 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have this minus. 1 minus 1 is 0, any number except 0 to the power of 0 is 1, so we have 1 times 4, negative is minus 4, then plus 0 times this, the whole of this will become 0 times this, we have 0. This shows that the derivative of a constant time is 0, so we end up having this without the last time. If you have y equals to maybe x squared plus x power 2. There are two ways in which you can uh, find the derivative of this function. It's either you expand the bracket or you apply function of a function. By expansion, y is going to be um, x power 4 plus 2 x power 3 plus x squared. Then dy over dx will be equal to 4. Take 4 down. 4 minus 1 is 3. Plus, this multiplied by this is 6. Then x3 minus um, 1 is 2. Plus, bring this 2 down, which, which gives us 2x. Two, 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is the derivative of this function. So, Function of a function goes like this. From here, you can say dy over dx equals, you bring this 2 down, 2. Then you multiply by the, the, the function in the bracket to x squared plus x. Then you multiply by the derivative of what is under the bracket. And this will give us 2x. The derivative of x is 1. Then we multiply everything. This time this is 2x squared plus 2 times that is 2x. Now we expand this bracket. This time this is 4x power 3 
this time that is 2x squared plus this time this is 4x squared this time this is um, 2x then by collection of like terms this m equal to 4x power 3 plus this plus this is 6x squared plus 2x and it is just the same thing with this one so using function of a function you can first of all take the derivative of all the functions together then you multiply by the derivative of what is under the bracket